Hey everybody, here we are back in Tinkercad. We are going to be finishing up our skimmer in 3D modeling. If you look on the left here, this is where we're headed, right? So this is a, a finished skimmer, and I'm going to continue with our skimmer example, which we worked on yesterday, all right? So again, you go to your file, you hit Tinker This to get back into your design or project. So that'll load up. We are going to be adding the air scoop today, which is a little complicated, um, but hopefully we can do this pretty quickly. Okay, here we are. We have our skimmer body, two fins, and the air flap. All we are missing is the air scoop that goes underneath. So let's start easy here. Let's grab a box, and we're just going to make the square part of the air scoop. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to click this button here. I'm going to change this to three inches here. Change this to three inches. So each side is three inches. Let's get that a little bit away from the air skimmer. And then the thickness, if you guys remember, uh, for our folder thickness, we're going to use 0 0.062. Right? And there is our skinny square okay for the air scoop now we have to make the uh, sides of the air scoop which is a little more complicated so again I'm going to grab a box okay and let's make the length three inches let's scoot that down a little bit okay and then the width because now we want it to be vertical, is actually the thickness of the folder. So that's 0 0.062 again right, for the thickness. All right. The height, though, we're going to make this only an eighth of an inch tall. So that would be 0 0.125. You guys can see that. 0 0.125. Hit enter. So now we have this one eighth of an inch tall piece of folder. And I'm going to go to the roof here and place that guy here. Now, I have to rotate this because this is not going to work the way it is. So we're going to rotate 90 degrees. You can do it by holding and clicking. That's fine. So you guys can see that. And then... I'm going to rotate, I think it's going to be 135, but let's just see. Yeah, we're going to go 135 degrees. That says 136. I can just click on and type it too, if that helps you guys. 135. Okay. So now we have this wedge and the skinny piece here. Okay, we have to change the thickness, of course to match our folder thickness, which is 0 0.062. Okay, we've got that. I'm going to scoop that a little bit away from there. The height of this. Okay, I want to bring the height down to what would be 2 eighths of an inch, which reduces to 1 fourth, which as a decimal is 0.25. So 0.25. Enter. We have to change the length, which I probably should have done earlier, but it might let me. So we're going to change this to three inches. There it is for the overall length. Let's scoot that guy back. And now we have the fun part of trying to align these, right? So this wedge is kind of floating right now. So what I'm going to do, so you guys can see this, is I'm going to bring this down to zero. Okay. And now I'm going to change it to uh, 0.125, which is the exact height of this. So all I do is I use this little cone shape at the top here, and I change the elevation of it, right? So when we do the alignment, it should align right on top 
of this little skinny piece here. Okay, so I'm going to click Shift because this is already selected, and I'm going to select the little skinny piece. There we go. And I'm going to go to Align. And the first thing I want to do is align the back to the back. Okay. And now let's bring them over using this one, just like so. Okay, they are together. I'm going to hit group. And there is the skinny side of the air scoop. Okay, so right away since this is done, let's go ahead and click copy. And then right next to it, click paste. Bring this out. And oh, you guys can see it. Pretty cool, huh? We have our two sides and we have the flat. So while this is selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key and select that one. Again, we got to go and try and align these. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see. Click align again. First, let's bring it up to the edge and let's line it up on the side like so. And since they're both selected, I'm going to hit group. And now they are connected. Okay. Now that this is all one piece now, I can hold down the shift key and click this second one. Again, go back to align. Again, we have to bring it up to the front, but let's align it to this side like so. Okay. Again, click group. And there is the air scoop. Now, of course, we have to attach it to the body. Okay. So let's try this out. All right. So I'm going to click body, hold down the shift key, click the air scoop. I'm going to go back to align. I'm going to try and line these up in the front. Okay, now it gets a little trickier because we want this. Oops. I accidentally clicked off of that. So they're aligned in the front. Shift, select, align. I'd like to try and get them. So if you look, this one, middle one here will actually put it above. This one here will lie at the bottom. Let's see what this does here. That's already aligned. Yep, let's go here so it aligns inside of it. Okay. Now if you look, it's a little bit low. But I'm okay with this alignment for now. So I'm just going to click off. Now I'm just going to click this guy here. And I'm going to try... To rotate to make this line here appear almost horizontal. So I'm going to click this and you're going to watch me. That's way too much. Let's go a little bit. So that's five degrees, which is good. So let's go just negative five or five degrees, like so. Perfect. I like the way that looks. Click the air scoop, and then I'm going to bring it up. Off the ground. And if you look, that is the way the air scoop should attach. There's a little opening here. Okay, it is inside, like so. And then to make it all the same color, click the body, hold down the shift, click the air scoop. Hit group up here, and now it is all one piece. So air scoop, fins, and flap. This is a finished skimmer, right? Pretty cool. And then what I did just to kind of have some fun, uh, I could you know add designs to it or a name. So I'm just gonna go to the text tool to give you guys a chance to practice that. Okay, bring this text tool here. Uh, first thing we'll do is we will rotate it, 
because it is facing for me the wrong direction. It lets me just grab. Oh, how about this? Let's just type 90 degrees. See what happens. Nope, don't want that. Hit undo. Maybe it's this is the one I want. There we go. So we'll rotate negative 90 this way. Now, if I rotate, you can see how thick these letters are, right? They go all the way down to the bottom, so that's that's a problem. So here, where it says height, let's bring that so it's really small. So 0.67 is tiny, which is good. But then we have to raise it up so we can see it. So there we go, about a half inch. Let's see if it's hovering. Zoom in so you guys can see. That's pretty good. Okay. So the text is right on top. Before I resize it, I want to type what I want to say. So I'm going to say on here, I'm going to call this Reynolds. Uh, let's see, actually, let's let me do a second line. Yeah, let's we'll keep it as Reynolds. Okay. And then I can stretch it out, resize it to try and fit my, my skimmer, change the color. I'm going to go with, let's go with Whitefish Bay Blue. And there it is, finished and done. So when you guys get yours done like this, I would like you to take a screenshot or screen capture of this image. Okay, that on a regular keyboard, there's a print screen button that can do that. Um, you may have another shortcut to do that. Um, but I want you to take a screenshot, screen capture image of your finished skimmer, save it, okay? And then you're gonna post it in today's discussion so that every student that goes into the discussion can see each other's 3D modeled skimmer. And you guys can look at your, your work, see how it turned out, see if they're different colors, different designs and then I can see all of your work in one place. Okay, so again, when you're done with this, take a screenshot, screen capture, save it, and then post it to today's discussion for a grade. All right, to get out of here and make sure that this is saved, you can click up here to the TickerCAD dashboard, and I will click that, and you'll see it say, as we do it, and that's how you know it's saved, right? So I go back to the dashboard. Here we go. And there's my skimmer example saved with my last name on it. Okay. All right, guys. Great job. Looking forward to see your work. Hopefully this wasn't too difficult and you guys feel like you're getting the hang of it. And then we will introduce a whole new 3D project coming up soon. All right, guys. Take care.